Hello friends, myself Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. So let's begin current affairs video. I hope all of you are aware of the new timetable of RBI, SAP and ABAC and our mobile application. Okay, so let's begin with the first question. Where is the National Security Strategies Conference 2022 held or organized? So it was organized in New Delhi. Now the speciality of this conference is that during this conference, a new initiative was launched. I will talk about that. But first know that this uh, conference was organized by the Ministry of Home Affairs. The Union Minister Amit Shah in, himself inaugurated this conference. Now coming to the initiative. So it is the National Automated Fingerprint Identification System. So this is basically an integrated database of the fingerprint taken by various stakeholders or the investigative agencies. Okay, so that now there would be an integrated database which can be available for all of the stakeholders, the investigative agencies very quickly. Okay, so that is the basic idea. What is the name of the online marketplace feature in the Matsya Setu application? So this is a new feature that has been launched in this application. So the name is Equa Bazaar. The basic purpose of this Equa Bazaar is now you know that it is a bazaar. And what is the function of a bazaar? Bazaar is for uh, is a place where the buyers and the sellers meet. So this is the place where the buyers and the sellers of the fisheries imports would meet and undertake the activities of buying and selling. Okay. Now what kind of product would be sold or bought on this platform? Fisheries input like your fish fish seeds or uh, the feedstock for the fishes, the medicines and any kind of services that is required for the fisheries, all of those would be provided on this Equa Bazaar, which is again a feature on this application. This is not an application. It is a feature on the Matasya Setu application. Okay. Now this was launched during the ninth governing body meeting of National Fisheries Development Board. Now, who is the chairperson of this board? This is your first question from my side. Do tell me the chairperson of this National Fisheries Development Board. As far as the developments which took place during that meeting are concerned, so you know now that the new feature on the Matasse Setu application was launched. Now, which organization has developed Matasse Setu application? This is very important. So it has been developed by the Central Institute of Freshwater Aquaculture in Bhuvaneshwar. Very important fact, guys. Do remember this fact. Moving ahead, which company has developed India's first truly indigenously hydrogen fuel cell bus? So it is KPID, which has developed this first indigenous hydrogen fuel cell bus. So basically, it would run on hydrogen fuel. Which state police organized the National Conference of Women in Police in collaboration with Ministry of Home Affairs and Bureau of Re Police Research and Development? So here, guys, the right answer is Himachal Pradesh because this national conference was held in Shimla. Okay, and you already know the organizers, the Ministry of Home Affairs, BPRD and Himachal Pradesh Police. You need to tell me the chairperson of BPRD at present. Next question is, recently Technology Development Board, a statutory body under the Department of Science and Technology has extended support to Messrs. Fountainhead Agro Private Limited for the advanced intensive all male tilapia aquaculture project with Israeli technology. Where is the company planning to set up its production facility? So here, what is the right answer? The right answer is option D, Kanatka. So at Mudhol. in Karnataka, this company is going to set up its production facility. Now, what is the news exactly? I know that you are not able to understand the question itself. So basically what has happened is that this Fountainhead organization is uh, basically it has collaborated with Israeli firms. There are two companies from Israel which are uh, included or involved in this project. So all of these companies are going to set up an aquaculture production facility which would produce the fish which is named this. 
okay so this aquaculture facility would be for this fish now why is so much done for this fish because this is a very uh, highly demanded fish in the international market and in order to gain profits this company has entered into this business okay so that is the basic crux now let's move into the details so i hope you are now able to understand the news now do remember that the technology development board under the department of science and technology this is supporting this project and to support the project this organization has given funding to fountain health so there is a uh, the total cost of this project is approximately 30 crores and out of 30 crores the department sorry the technology development board under the department of science and technology has given rupees 8.42 crores as assistance okay now this production facility would aim to create 500 tons of tilapia fish okay in the initial stages that would be its target to achieve 500 tons from the harmon of uh, fish now i will tell you what is this exactly but first know this news objectively what are the objectives of this product, uh, project so i hope you know now that 500 tons of tilapia fish would be created out of its parent okay now this parent this harmon fish would be imported in india from nir david fish breeding farm in israel the second company of israel is aquaculture production technology limited which is providing the technology to the fountain head for producing this aquaculture facility for setting up this facility now what is tilapia and what is this harmon first of all tilapia is also known as aquatic chicken a very interesting name given to this cute fish so this is called as chicken because of the low maintenance cost and the quick growth in this fish therefore this is very much high in demand in the international market because it takes a very low maintenance during the cultivation and it is the cycle of its growth is very quick so now it is created from its which is named as hermon now this fish you all know is being brought from israel so this fish is a hybrid fish this hermon is a hybrid fish of two selected strains okay male and female strains of uh, uh, of tilapia only okay now guys you would be wondering this much information is required from phase 1 perspective no in your gk portion you won't be asked such facts at least these very difficult names won't be asked in the examination especially especially in the 20 questions of your gk portion but you have ard current affairs as well and such questions can be made in the ard section so be prepared for that also now this is in the current affairs so i took the responsibility of telling you that this harmon fish is basically a hybrid creation out of this male and this female of the same genus okay you can see the genus is same for both the uh, species not the species but the male and females okay now the characteristic of this hermon fish are that it has a high growth rate which you can see in tilapia on also and it is resistance to low temperature uh, light light color and hybrid fry progeny of males only and huh, the males can also produce and uh, the basic feature here is that it does not need conventional method of reproduction for producing the progen so these are some of the features of this hermon fish and because of these features the tilapia fish has been created out of this hermon fish which is again a hybrid version of the tilapia fish fishes only okay because these two are uh, the uh, different strains from the fish category of tilapia only okay so very uh, i would say it is too much in depth from gk point of view to zaruri nahi hai but ard ke point of view se bhi aapka zyada se zyada yahi facts important hai ye to sare aapke basic features hain uske liye theek hai now this is guys the aquaculture farms like 
we have the farm farming land on the land on the territory uh, terrestrial uh, plain we have similar kind of aquaculture categories or you can say demarcations within the sea itself so in these tanks the fishes are grown so you can see that in the fish in this tank only the fishes are being fed and they are being bred okay so here the breeding is be is taking place and this is the way in which this entire process is being made sustainable because you can see here drum filter is there for the solid uh, waste now the solid waste from the fishes from this tank would be turned into fertilizer the carbon filter is there then we have the ammonia to nitrate filter is also there then the uh, fresh water would be pumped into this tank so this is the process to make this entire aquaculture activity sustainable but obviously it has its own environmental risk now this is a very this is a you can say a very con concise video i cannot teach you everything about aquaculture firstly because it is current affairs video and secondly aquaculture is a part of your static ai and suraj sir is doing a tremendously good job at teaching you ard so cover aquaculture from the statics ard course okay let's move ahead to the next question of the current affairs which country hosted the exercise pitch black so it is a very very easy question if you have done the defense exercises because defense exercises may this is a very conventional exercise or i would say a very frequent exercise so australia hosts this pitch black multilateral exercise so not only india participates but many country participate participate in this exercise pitch black so it is an air force exercise and it is taking place in darwin city of australia from india the indian contingent is being led by yps navy do remember this name this person is leading the indian air force contingent and from india we have su 30 mki fighters and c7 aircrafts which are participating in this pitch black exercise and do remember it is a biennial exercise it happens once in two years so prior to this it was supposed to happen in 2020 but due to covid it got cancelled so in this year it is being held now when it is the darwin city and you can see on the map of australia the major cities of australia however it is not a upsc paper that you would be asked the major cities of uh, australia but still for your general awareness you should be aware of the major uh cities the main cities of australia very popular cities now my question from you is tell me the name of this state which state is this moving ahead which has become the first uh in the navy and perhaps the only military unit in the country to set up and use composite and dot shooting range so here ins kern is the right answer now guys this is a shooting range indoor shooting range so you must have seen this kind of facility in various movies i guess i remember there is fourth movie mein shayad ek scene hai uh, when john abraham was practicing shooting so this is kind of a facility which helps the shooters uh, to uh, make their um, make their target accurate okay so in order to help them practice the shooting and every kind of weaponry because this kind of composite indoor shooting range has uh, has the testing facility for many weapons so this is an example of the indoor shooting range this is not the indoor shooting range of the ins kern okay because the picture of that was not available on google it is an example of shooting range indoor shooting range okay now all kind of primary and secondary weapons can be tested in the indoor shooting range and this would basically build the capacity of the personnel because now their uh, their targets would be accurate okay now prior to this ins kern there were no ships in indian navy which have such kind of a facility now the next question is how uh, much solar capacity installation has been made in india uh has been made by india in the first half of 2022 so here 7.2 gigawatts is important 
now as this report is released by medcom india research and if you are regularly following the current affairs or spotlight you would know that this organization releases the report every month you can say okay regarding the solar power installations but why did i take this there are two reasons firstly you have your examination in less than a one in less than a month okay and secondly this is telling you the data of the entire half year that we have spent january to june so let's have a look at the sol solar installations that were made during the previous six months so here 59 percent growth has been seen in the solar installations and in during the first half of 2022 7.2 gigawatt of energy of solar power installation was made during the first year, uh, first half of this year okay rajasthan and gujarat accounted for the highest addition and maharashtra is at the third position so rajasthan's share is 53 percent gujarat is 14 and maharashtra's share is nine percent this much is enough from your exam point of view don't go into too much of its depth apart from this i don't think anything can be asked from this report next question is who has been appointed as a secretary to the pri uh, president draupadi murmu so here rajesh verma is the right answer he has been appointed as the secretary to the president and this is a very important position therefore can be asked so he was uh, the union secretary or in the ministry of corporate affairs prior to his appointment as the secretary of president okay do remember his earlier occupation the secretary of the ministry of corporate affairs who is the author of emily and subhash a true love story book so it is krishna bose now this book is telling the story of the wife of Netaji Subhash Chand Bose, who was actually an Austri Austrian. Okay, so Emily Schlank. So uh, the story of this woman is told in this book. However, that is not a very important fact for you to remember, but it's for the general awareness that the name of Netaji Subhash Chand Bose's wife is this Emily Schlank. Okay. So here this video ends. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching.